everyone, my name is Sandy So and welcome to Tech Shelter. Uh, in this channel, I simplify text for small businesses and individuals. If there's something that you are into or if you'd like to get some tips and tricks on how you can pay less tax, then I would urge you to subscribe to the channel and maybe click the notification button. Now, today I'm going to be talking about how you can get tax experience in South Africa. But before I delve into that, I would really like to just give a little background of tax in South Africa. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's very difficult to get experience in tax. And I just need people to understand why it is like that. Firstly, until recently, tax in South Africa was predominantly part of accounting. In other words, accountants and auditors were often confused as tax professionals. Now, before I get you all confused, yes, most accountants and most auditors are qualified tax practitioners technically. And the reason for this is because previously tax was not regulated in South Africa, or should I say it was not regulated enough. This now obviously meant that people relied on accountants for tax services. Fortunately, in 2002, Minister Trevor Manuel indicated in his budget speech that SARS would actually start discussions on how to properly regulate tax professionals. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the regulations and discussions that took place between then and now, but eventually in 2013, the compulsory registration of tax professionals with a controlling body was introduced. The reason I'm telling you this is because people often ask me why is it so difficult to actually get tax experience and this is one of the reasons this industry was previously not regulated. Any and everyone could pretty much do whatever they like. It's also important that it is only in recent years that people are starting to see the tax profession as a profession that is separate from accounting or as a specialization that is separate from accounting. And also understand that when someone is a tax professional, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're an accountant. And also even with accounting, it doesn't necessarily mean that an accountant is a tax professional. Yes, they may be in situations whereby they're registered with certain bodies like SICA. However, tax is a specialization on its own. Where does one get a tax experience? Well, number one, I'm going to be talking about accounting firms. At the moment, those are the places that, at the moment, accounting firms are the, I'd say the number one place whereby I can get, a person can get tax experiences. Now, depending on the type of experience you want, you want, and also depending on the career path that you would like to follow, you need to consider whether or not you want to work for a big accounting firm or for a small accounting firm. For instance, in big accounting firms, you will often get experience with big companies. In other words, you might find that it's easier to be to specialize in a certain part of tax. For instance, if you're someone that's looking into doing international tax, then definitely big accounting firms would be where you want to go because you are not going to get any international tax experience from a local accounting firm that deals with just small businesses in that town. For instance, you are unlikely to get any international tax experience in Port Elizabeth because the accounting firms here are small and we have very few international companies. However, if you work in Joburg or in Cape Town, then you are most likely to get experience from um, you are more likely to, you are most likely to get ex international experience because you'll be working with big accounting firms and that's where big companies have their head offices, right? If you are looking at maybe starting your own tax practice or you are looking at being an expert generally in all types of tax like VAT, income tax and all those things, then medium or small accounting firms will be where I think you should go. And the reason I'm saying this is because medium and small accounting firms deal with a whole lot of different companies in a whole lot of different industries. In other words, you will get fishing industry, you will get law firms basically you will get a whole lot of different uh, businesses being done by a small or medium accounting firm 
So if you're someone that's looking to start your own businesses, your own business in future, or if you're someone that is looking to specialize in small businesses or individuals, then an accounting firm, a small or medium accounting firm is where I would advise you to actually go. The second place where you can get tax experience is SARS. Now, SARS offers internships and they also offer bursaries. They have two types of internships that I know of. One is for chartered accountants. If you if you are following the chartered accountant route and you would like to specialize in tax in future, then I think that's where that would be a, SARS would be a good start for you. However, if you are not following the chartered accountant route and you just want to be a tax practitioner, then SARS also has internships that are dedicated to that specifically. The next place where you can get tax experience is with a tax ombud. Now, a whole lot of people don't know who the tax ombud is. Basically, a tax ombud is the place where you go when you are feel aggrieved when you feel aggrieved by SARS. In other words, that's where you go to com to complain. That's where you go if you find that maybe SARS is not paying your refund and you've done everything that you can. And it's often the tax ombud is confused with the SARS tax compla complaint system, which is something entirely different. This is the tax ombuds is basically where you go when you've exhausted all the other avenues at SARS to try and get assistance or help with the second situation. Or if you've get gotten help from SARS, but then you are dissatisfied with the way they've handled your, your grievance or your query, then you go complain at the tax ombud. You can also go get experience there, but the tax ombud office is still very small. So I don't know whether or not they're offering um, internships. I do know, however, that once in a while they will hire people. The next place where you can get your tax experience is in law firms. Slowly but surely, law firms are incorporating tax into their services. And the reason for that is that there's just so many cases now that involve tax. So law firms, you'll see them um, hiring people that have a tax background. And also you will see people that are lawyers now wanting to go specialize in tax. So it's all fine and games now when it comes to law. So it will be a great idea if you want, if you are someone that actually loves the law or if you're a lawyer and you've always been interested in tax, then Tax law would be the best way for you to follow. And it's actually a very exciting career, I'm told. The last place where you can get tax experience is in private sector. Again, I cannot emphasize enough. If you would like to go into tax in the private sector, then I'd really advise that you actually go and stay in the bigger cities. By that, I mean your Joburg, your Durban, your Cape Towns. And the reason I'm saying this is because in the smallest in most cases, companies have tax departments in their head offices. And let's face it, head offices are based in big cities. You will find maybe a head office for a company in a smaller city. Like, for instance, you find um, a VW head office here in, in Newton Hague. However, in most cases, most companies have their head offices in Joburg. So if you want to get tax experience, if you want to go work in the private sector, then I'd advise that you go into a big city. And the, another reason for you to go into a big city is if you would like to actually work in the private sector, I'd also advise a person, if you are going to be working for an accounting firm, again, to go into the bigger cities because that's where most people get actually get poached by clients. You'll find that someone was working for, say, for instance, uh, PwC, and then PwC, then uh, Coca-Cola was a client of PwC. And then after you worked on a certain um, audit or, or you did some work for the client, the client was so impressed by you, they actually give you an offer. This happens all the time with people. So if you'd like to work in the private sector, then either go for uh, big accounting firms or going to big cities. In the smaller cities, it's actually very difficult to work for a private company and be able to actually be in the tax department because most of them, they will have like one person or two people in the tax department, but then we'll have a whole lot of people in their tax department in their head offices, which are mostly based in bigger cities. And if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Peace.